Well, I speak on immigration, so there's so many <laughs> there's so many opportunities to change people's minds. You know, over the last ten years, people have been so confused about immigration. But um, you know, but I think race and immigration, you you do know because there's a discomfort in the room. You know that people aren't sure what you're going to talk about. And I would say the FDIC speech was um, was a really wonderful speech because um, what I was trying to do is ch have people think about the fact that diversity itself is not sufficient, that we actually need to think about equity and this crazy idea that maybe really what we need to think about is love. And I bring love into a lot of my speeches and I see people not know what to do when I say the word. Um, and then I see, and this happened at this FDIC speech, I see this kind of opening up, kind of a, a almost like a blossoming of people as they hear a word that everybody wants in their life. It's not that people don't want it. It's just that we don't talk about it in a political, uh, you know, in a political context very often. Mm -hmm. And I think what it does is I actually, I'm, I wish I was a scientist and I could measure what happens when, when somebody says love in a speech because I actually think what happens is there is, I'm sure there's a physiological response between your heart and your brain. And I think that is what we need to create change on issues like race or on issues like immigration. Um, because so much, of, so much of the resistance is fear-based. So a lot of my speeches are about um, leaving fear and moving to abundance in some way, shape, or form. That's a lot of what I'm talking about. So in that particular speech, there were two things that happened that were really powerful. One was I, I do this thing sometimes where I ask people to stand up if they were born in another country. And then I ask them to stand up if their parents were born in another country. And then I ask them to stand up if some generation of their family was born in another country. And then everybody laughs because they're like, oh, I get the joke. You know, of course we're all standing up. And then I say, you know, unless you were... Um, Unless you're 100% Native American, you should be standing up. But in that particular instance, what happened is when I asked the people who were born in another country to stand up, and it was probably a room of about 300 or so people, and, and it was being broadcast to other places around the country, um, people started standing up, and I, j I said, call out the countries that, you're, mm -hmm. that you were born in. So they started calling out these countries, and it was so diverse, and people started clapping. Mm -hmm. And there was this, and, and um, it was just sort of like all of these people suddenly felt seen in a different way. Mm -hmm. And it changed the energy of the room. Mm -hmm. It fundamentally changed the energy of the room. And, and then talking about sort of the, the spectrum, the, the second powerful thing was I started with the idea of tolerance mm -hmm. and moved to diverse, well, started with exclusion, moved to tolerance, to diversity, to equity, to love. That was the continuum. And you saw people responding to each one of those things and then realizing that this thing they had thought about as diversity was actually much, much bigger than that and um, much more universal than that, which was the goal. I didn't know if it would work, but <laughs> it, it did. And it was just amazing. And afterwards, so many people came up to me. One guy, the thing that almost made me cry, this one guy who was Vietnamese, spoke very little English, very highly skilled, came up to me, told me about his background, and said, in very broken English, said, this is the first time I felt seen. And <laughs> I was just so, you know, very highly skilled engineer by training you know, probably in his 60s, I'm guessing. Um, and then I had a young Arab guy come up to me and say, you know, nobody's ever really acknowledged why the word diversity bothers me. And, you know, this just gave me a new framework. So comments like that tell me that, um, you know, and then I got, they, they actually do reviews, so I actually knew from, from the reviews, too, that it had been successful. So that's probably the last the one that comes to mind most quickly about how I know and what happened. Mm.